Hello guys, this is the fan here. We are playing Fallout New Vegas, which is not entirely a coincidence, uh, because right now I think I would like to talk about the uh, the Bethesda Softworks E3 show that was uh, last night in my time. Howdy. <laughs> actually, before we do that, let's figure out what we're doing here, actually. Quests, uh, speak to Hayes. Okay, we, uh, we're gonna go to Prima, I think. This is uh, fairly early on in the game, but there will be spoilers. So, if you have not played this game from 2010 or something yet, then <laughs> you. Well, it's fairly early on, so it's not gonna be major story stuff. What, what I've done here is uh, I've been at, uh, for those following, I've been at the. Uh, Mojave outpost for the New California Republic. They have a <laughs> have a statue here, and uh, I've been trying to uh, get them to promise to help with the law enforcement situation in a town called Prim. That might or might not be right there. Let's see. I actually have uh, the uh, binoculars. Let's try them. Get them out. Okay. Yeah, that's Prim. That's the. Uh, the roller coaster there and a little bit of detail not much anyway oh no put the gun put the gun away thank you anyway <laughs> so e3 is on right now the electronic entertainment expo which i'm also gonna be spoiling <laughs> uh, i'm gonna spoiling well can't really spoil the news all over the web now uh, last night was, last night at I think 5 a.m. <laughs> finish time, I was awake because of course I am. And what happened was the uh, Bethesda Softworks had their very first E3 uh, briefing, I think it's called, press briefing, showcase, something. <laughs> I don't actually know what that kind of a show is called. But they, you know, they were Bethesda people and they were talking about Bethesda stuff. And it was, it was a pretty entertaining one, actually. <laughs> like, just from, you know, a purely an entertainment perspective, it was pretty fun to watch. The hosts had some very good jokes. Like, considering that they're probably not uh, professional broadcasters of any sort. But they, they got a few laughs. And uh, the first thing that happened... We I'm gonna jump like this. We the first thing that happened there was uh, Doom. They actually had they had a guy from. I'm really I'm actually I'm a, I'm terrible at the names, so I just gonna refer to them as guy from Company X and stuff like that. So they had a guy from Eat Software. Who are in the process of making Doom Four? I think is it four? Actually, it might just be Doom, like you know, without a number again. I don't know, I don't think we have an official title for the game, but no, the new Doom game is coming, which is always nice. Okay, there's something. Okay, hold on, there's... I'm wondering if my radar is picking up the birds here. Nope. The fuck? Or maybe it was, I don't know. I have this uh, in, my, in the... Bottom left is the, the like the compass thing, and if you have uh, if you have a bar above the letters the N W N, then that means there's a person there. If the bar is red, it's an enemy. And there were two bars, but I'm wondering if they were for the birds or not. It, it doesn't have to be a person; it might just be an animal of some sort. Anyway, Doom. Yes, <laughs> they started with a uh, a long trailer. Ivampa Dry Lake, okay. Interesting. A long trailer, which was, well, what looked like game footage. Just a guy going around and showing the com combat, and it was, it was pretty fun, actually, to watch. Uh, they had, it looked really nice, the, especially the, the blood splatter, or like, or, well, blood stains would be better. The blood stains on the floors, they looked amazing. And uh, you know, have, you have you had a lot of demons, of course, and 
lots of guns. They had this like, I don't know if it's gonna be in the game because it looked a little bit silly, but they had this thing where uh, where every time the guy got a new weapon, like a super shotgun or whatever, he would just sort of admire it a little while and just check the, you know, open it up and check if there's ammunition and you know check stuff like that. Which like it looked it it looked really good cool especially with the chainsaw. But uh, I don't know if that's gonna be. It looks like something that might actually slow gameplay down if it's if it's still there in the final game. So it's possible that uh, it's possible that that's something that you can just turn off. Okay, hello. Okay, well I am so fuck off. But I'm wondering right now about this game is the. You know what your objective markers? That's one. That's two. Okay, yeah, that's two. But like, what? What's the other one? Let's. No, no, not there. Data. Uh, yeah, this is the active quest. Is there something else that's active? No. Okay. Major night. Ah, okay. So yeah, there's still like. Oh, that scrolls fast. Uh, yeah, the, we need a new sheriff, and there's two possibilities. One is to have NCR protection, the new California Republic guys, and the other one is to just try to get the ex-sheriff out of the prison, but... So I think that, that one is the prison that's been overrun. And then... That one... is the captain. Who I spoke to earlier. Now let's go find him. Um, actually, my fucking the, the gas thing on my chair is dropping me. Anyway, yeah, the Doom trailer it looked really nice, and uh, it was kind of amusing to uh, amusing to watch because you had the uh, the live audience there, and you had the audio from the live audience all the while. Mr. McGee, right there. You had the uh, audio from the audience. As they were watching the trailer, <laughs> and so like every time, like for example, the player gets the chainsaw, and the <laughs> always go like, whoa, <laughs> like yeah, this, that, so that was, that was very amusing to hear as well. No, 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 don't go, don't go to sleep. God damn it! I'm gonna wake him up. Haha. <laughs> Get up. Okay, uh, I got extra troop support. Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff, and the Rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate associated taxes. Wait, I have to decide this. <laughs> so yeah, I should. Uh, I could still back off and just go get the. Original series, but I don't really feel like doing it. So yeah. Roger. The moment now. So much XP. So basically, I have now decided that <laughs> everyone should be taxed, <laughs> whether they want to or not, because I need a series for my own purposes. Is this dude? Prim is secure against outside threats. Actually, let's go see. Actually, that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the game because uh, I have played this game before and I remember one thing, one interesting thing happening. So let's just okay, we have saved the game. So let's go. Let's follow this guy as he makes his way to the town proper. It is the NCR camp outside Prim. So anyway, Doom. What am I saying? Yeah, uh, there was yeah the first one, the first trailer. It showed a lot of gunplay it looked awesome and it showed uh, it showed a little bit of parkour like you could you know climb up on a ledge and stuff like so you you not just leave hanging or you and uh that's what 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 else oh yeah there's also a there was an element of brutality <laughs> to it which was really awesome Oh god, so what I'm waiting for is there's that there's the bridge that's mined, that and that and that are mines. Oh, no. Okay, that's an interesting way to go. Just gonna go see if that guy gets himself blown up.
Yep. He's dead. <laughs> this is what happened the last time, actually. What happened the last time was, yeah, I did the same thing, I think. So, in the end, what seems to have happened is that uh, I have managed to get the uh, town taxed under NCR, but uh, they're no more no safer because the new sheriff dies immediately. I'm gonna load the game and see if he can. If I don't, if I um, uh, what I'm trying to say is, if I don't follow him, I'm gonna see if he can manage. If I don't watch him. Uh, let's see if the game like teleports him all the way there or something. So he <laughs> actually let's just wait an hour here. See if we get the message. Okay, I, I think he, if if you're not there watching him, he can actually make it <laughs> over there. I don't know why the fucking bridge is mined. That's just beyond me. Anyway, the doom thing that I was talking about. Uh, they had a lot of sort of brutal stuff there. You could, uh, well, uh, the, there was a there was a point at which the player character punched demon's head off, like you know, clean off, which was nice. Then uh, uh, later on, they actually had another video after they had they had talked about the uh, multiplayer and uh, the level cl creator thing, which is kind of cool as well. But uh, they had another video with because they wanted to show of what the uh, hell looks like which is presumably one of the final levels in the game uh, no which and uh, that was also it looked ra relatively impressive at least the interesting thing was that the, the player guy at the one, at one point he uh, there's a, like big demon sort of like 9 feet 10 feet 3 meters something like that and uh, what the player did, he uh, he plunged his hand inside the demon's chest, took out his heart, the demon's heart, and shoved the heart down the demon's throat. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> so anyway, let's see quests. <laughs> Recon the Nipton. Go work for Kim's caravan. Well, actually, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. So. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to... Well, I might as well wait here, I think. I'm just going to wait until the morning. It's uh, 1 a.m., so let's take six, five hours. It's sort of the Skyrim way of doing things, which just stand somewhere for six hours. Anyway. Doom. It looked nice. I'm not going to play it, because I'm, I suck at first-person shooters. Pretty much. But it looked really... Awesome and fun. So, what was next? There was... Uh, I'm actually not sure if I remember it in, everything in the right order. But uh, at some point they had the guys from Arcane Games. Who came on the stage. And they had... What I think is the best news of the whole show. Which is namely... Uh, namely, Dishonored 2. It's coming. Sometime next year, actually. Which is nice, and there's gonna be two playable characters. I don't know if there's gonna be like, like how they're how you're gonna switch between them. Or if you're just gonna play one, but there's a female and a male character, and it looks like looks to be awesome. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Oh, that's the asshole deputy. Well, it is. Ah, yes. I remember. I was skull uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the power gangers. When some, they were talking about some of the. They said they'd be heading through Nipton to no. Okay, that was the guy I uh, rescued earlier. Head to Novak through Nipton. Okay, well we're gonna Nipton anyway, so. Okay, if we're gonna follow the main quest that is... Uh, so, Dishonored 2, yes, that looked awesome, because who doesn't want more Dishonored? Also, there's gonna be a definitive edition of Dishonored 1 for the new consoles. I don't know if that's gonna be on PC, 
possibly. We'll see. All the good news there. Uh, there was Elder Scrolls. They had something about Elder Scrolls online. It's an MMO, so I don't really care. There's gonna be new, new stuff there. <laughs> Whatever. There was something. Uh, I don't even remember what it was called. Some kind of multiplayer, team-based action battle, shit game. War something or battle something or I don't know. I don't remember it anymore. <laughs> I don't. I don't really play multiplayer stuff anyway, so I don't care about that. And what else? Actually, I think that might have been, that might have been it. Aside from, of course, Fallout 4, which uh, is also kind of the reason that we're playing Fallout New Vegas here. Where is everybody here? By the way, the place used to be full of people last time I was here. I don't see anybody. Okay. So Fallout 4. Somewhere around Boston. The interesting part is they actually gave a release date. Unlike uh, the trailer that came a couple of weeks ago. It's gonna be released in... Well, later this year. I don't... I, I forgot the date also. <laughs> it's October or November. I think it was October. Which is nice. It's actually kind of... Uh, it's a lot less waiting than I was hoping for. Or fearing, actually, not not hope. No, I, was not, I was not hoping for waiting. As I had, I figured out it might actually take a lot longer than that, since they did not have a release date on the trailer. But I guess they were saving that for E3. So Bethesda, they they did good, I think, on their first E3 show. And uh, later today, I think tonight, finish time, we're gonna have Microsoft and. Let's see, what was Microsoft and Ubisoft? Maybe, I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> they're gonna have some more, but they're gonna be later. Hmm. I remember, I seem to remember I, there was some point where I could just get on that track and just walk the track, but I don't remember where that was. Shit. Bottle cap. Yes, please. Oh, shit. Something's happening with the <laughs> speakers again. I need to get the, that shit replaced. Either that or the sound card, I don't know. Duck day. No, I don't need those, I don't think. Dumpster. Turpentine, I don't know. Anyway, that was... That was Bethesda. I don't know if I'm gonna make more videos about E3, but who knows. Who knows. I'm gonna wrap this up since I have not much else to say and I don't wanna just keep, keep this a... Uh, let's play because that's not what I'm doing here uh, yes 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 so I've been thinking about having a new sort of uh, what's it called the thing that you say last on the video like a sign off sign off maybe I'm gonna try it at the end of this one <laughs> so I thank you for watching and have a fantastic day